Welcome to another video lecture for Math 141 um, Statistics at Morton College. Uh, if I look a little different, uh, it's because I'm making uh, remaking this video uh, several, uh, almost a full year after I made the original uh, Chapter 7 videos. Um, but we're going to talk about Section 7.3 today. Uh, and the idea behind Section 7.3 is uh, you just finished learning about uh, how to use the normal probability plot. One of the important things moving forward um, as we use the normal probability, uh, not the normal probability, normal distribution, as we use the normal distribution uh, in the coming chapters 8, 9, 10, and 11, um, it'll be important to know whether or not a set of data is, can be considered normal enough uh, to use the data. So that's what we're going to look at is a mathematical tool uh, for determining if data is normal enough. So if you open your chapter 7 notes uh, to page number 16, uh, we can start looking at um, these problems. So a normal probability plot is a graph that plots observed data versus normal scores. A normal score is the expected z-score of the data value, assuming that the distribution of the random variable is normal. If sample data are taken from a population that is normally distributed, a normal probability plot of the observed values versus the expected z-scores will be approximately and linear. Sorry, uh, that's a typo. Uh, determine whether the normal probability plot indicates that the sample data could have come from a uh, population that is normally distributed. So these are examples of uh, graphs that come from a program called Maple. Um, and in Maple, the idea is all the data needs to fall within these blue lines. So the middle blue line is exactly normal, and then the curved blue lines are um, the margin of error for whether or not we're going to. So in this first example here, we can see we've got two, uh, at least two, and a couple more that fall outside that line. So this would be not approximately normal. Okay, and so that's all there you have to do when you're looking at one of these that comes from something like this program, Maple. So if you look at the next one, all of the dots are within the blue line, so this one would be approximately normal. And the last one, you can see there's quite a few that don't. Also notice that this doesn't really make a line, so this would be not approximately normal. Okay. So that's the idea when you're looking at a graph from a program like this. So go ahead and take a look at the next page and you can determine this for yourself, whether or not you think these are approximately normal. So pause the video and try that real quick. Okay, so now that you've tried that, uh, you can see, um, we can see that the first one is not approximately normal because it's got at least one data value that falls outside these lines, and the other two are approximately normal. Because all of the data values fall within the boundary lines. Okay, so that's the idea. Now if you wanted to do one of these on your own, we could use class calc for that. So the data values given here for this problem, a random sample of weekly work logs at an automobile repair station was attained, the average number of customers per day was recorded. So this data can be found in our note data sheet, uh, Google Drive. So if you want to try this on your own, you're just going to copy and paste this into class calc. Okay. And then you're going to do the normal probability distribution, which in your calculator is under stat, distribution and plot, and it's the last one, normal probability plot. And then you're just going to tell it we want to look in list X1. And if you zoom in on this, you're going to see the graph and the line. But what we really care about when we're doing these on our own is this number right here, this R value, which we'll talk a lot more about in Chapter 4. But that's really all we care about when we're doing this. So our R value is 0 0.967. And then how we decide if something is linear enough is we compare this R value to this set of critical values. And we pick the critical value based on the sample size. So in this case, there are 25 values total, n equals 25. So we come down here to 25, and this is the value we're going to compare. So our critical value is 0 0.959. If r is greater than the critical value, 
we say it is approximately normal. If it's not, we say it's not approximately normal. So in this case, 0 0.967 is greater than 0 0.959. That is true. So we can say this is approximately normal. So that's all there is to determine if something is approximately. Copy the data into class calc, run a normal probability plot, and get the R value, and then compare it to this table. So if you want to try one of these on your own, just go ahead and flip to the next page. Pause the video here. This data is also in our Google Sheet under 7.3 Prom 2, and you can try this one. Okay. So now that you've had a chance to try it, let's do this on our uh, together. So these are value uh, amount of student loans for undergraduate students. So we copy this data, we go into class calc. Uh, we can even leave our normal probability plot there if we get rid of our original data. I'm going to paste this in. Now this is going to be an X1. So this is what this one looks like when we zoom in. So you might guess from the shape of this graph that this is not going to be approximately normal, but we have to check and make sure. So in this case, R is 0 0.892 when we round to three places. And so now we got our R value. We go to uh, the critical uh, value table and we look for our sample size. So in this case, uh, there are 20 in our sample. So we go back to the previous page and we look at 20. And our R value for 20 is 0 0.951. So our critical value is 0 0.951. So we compare 0 0.892. Is that less... Um, Sorry, is that greater than 0 0.951? And the answer to that is no. So this would be not approximately normal. So that's it for this video uh, lecture. Uh, that's all the time we have for now. Uh, hopefully, if you have any questions about this or any other topic in the class, as always, feel free to shoot me a message. Uh, have a good day, and I'll see you in class.